just it's my so I guess I just pull it down. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. There you go. Take it off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, first of all, I like to give a dedication to Aaron Edwards. Clap it up for Aaron Edwards. <laughs> Yes, man. Um, but I'm just thankful to be up here tonight. I'm just glad that everyone's here to support me. I feel special. <laughs> but anyway, to the jokes, though, on the real. <laughs> my granny, man. I, I, I really miss her. I was thinking about her the other day, you know. And um, my granny, rest in peace, man. She was a gangster. Like, my grandmother, like, all the way to the age of 60, she was gang banging, banging on fools. Like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? My little bow head from the hood. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up? What's up? You know, and so, um, I mean, she was really a gangster all the way until the day that sh they closed the casket. You know, they buried her in the casket like this. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's what's up. You know, that even at parties and everything, she'll be partying with us and stuff. You know, she'll start off like, hey, like, Go granny, go granny, she'll be like, hey, one deal, uh. Then I'm gonna say, but she'll break out into this little mean face and just get serious. She'll be like, go granny, be like, love and happiness, ah. Uh. Then you know, the partner will break down and be like, duh, love and happiness, ah. Uh. She'll be like, duh, love and happiness, <laughs> uh. Yeah, baby, she'll get the game back, love and happiness, uh, uh. Uh, <laughs> like, okay, Granny, you know what I'm saying? But I miss her so much, man. But now to the depressing part of my life. Um, I'm single. And um, <laughs> I am, you know, and I'm actually happy. And um, it was crazy because I used to work with children, and there was this one little girl named Melissa. Now, Melissa, she wanted me to have a boyfriend so bad. And, um, I didn't want one. And, I mean, she wanted me to have a boyfriend more than all my friends wanted me to have a boyfriend. So, every day she would come up to me. Hi, Ms. Harden. I'm like, hey, Melissa, how are you? She'd be like, um, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, no, no, Melissa, I don't have a boyfriend, you know. And then, day two. Ms. Harden, do you have a boyfriend yet? I was like, no. Melissa, I don't have a boyfriend yet. You know what? I was always told that let the man find the woman. I, I can't do it. So then, like, a month went by, and so Miss Melissa was furious. She had got frustrated that Miss Harden didn't have a boyfriend. So one day, I came to work, and she was like, Miss Harden, can I talk to you in private, please? I was like, sure, what's up? She's like, come here, come here. Have a seat, please, have a seat. I'm like, okay, what's going on? She was like, so did that man find you yet? <laughs> I said, no, no, Melissa, he didn't find me yet. She went, oh my God, Miss Harden, why does anyone want you? Is it because you have a mustache? Functional men, you know. I don't. I don't break up with the average breakups like everybody, you know. Like real talk. Like the normal breakups are um, he cheated, uh, baby mama drama. Like what else are some other normal breakups? Somebody holler at me. What's some other normal breakups? He be lying. He ain't got no money. He don't have no money. months, you know, and so we decided that we were going to get intimate with each other, and so we was kissing, you know, uh, uh, you know, so he kissed me on the cheek, he was like, you, know, you like that? I was like, here. That's my sexy voice, here. He kissed me on my other cheek, he was like, you, know, you like that? I was like, here. Then he kissed me on my forehead, and he grabbed my face, and he said, 
You know, if someone kisses you on your forehead, that means that they really care about you. I was like, okay, I, all right, all right. So then he started kissing on my neck, and I'm like, you like that? Then he just licked me like, ah. I was like, ooh. Ah. His spit was stinking. I was like, stop. You know, I don't believe in it's, it's what you say, it's how you say it, none of that. I believe in it's not what you say, it's the facial expressions you have when you say it to the person. So I told him, stop. And he said, w -w 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 what, 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 what? And I was like, um, now watch my face. I said, do you have a rotten tooth or something? Now look at my face. Now this is the face of concern right here. And so he responded back and said, why, yes, I do. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna give you a compliment on your funky tooth. Like, what are you talking about? You know, and he was like, well, I'm just saying, you know, I, I've been having this problem for about a month. I said, so you knew you had this problem? And you was getting ready to, you know, kiss on me and probably go down there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, see, you were supposed to go down there. We just finished eating pork and beans, and you got that hole in your teeth, and you got to get me down there H1N1 plus stuff? Like, really? Okay, she's done it. All right, girl. Yeah, I heard you from way over there, and I had to take that phone call real quick. But I'm 